What's up you guys? It's me again, your Shazzy and welcome back to my video and to this channel. Well, 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 hi you guys. It's been a while and I'm so delighted to be here with you again to give you another Tagalog lesson. Are you guys excited? <laughs> Yes, because I am very, very well excited. But before that, I'm going to answer one of our viewers' question, okay? So please listen carefully because this uh, question is very crucial. Okay, I have something I want to consult with you. I have a Filipino girlfriend in the Philippines, of course. So I met her at Philippines KTV bar. Yes. She is working at the nightclub. Under this pandemic situation, I'm in Japan now, then my girlfriend always asked me to send money to her. When I talk to her, if I say I cannot send money to her, then she'll get mad. Is this relationship true couple or I get tricked by her? How can I find out if her love is true or not? Should I break with her? Alright, so this question is very crucial to me because I'm not in the position to tell you so. So, I am nobody to tell you if you should break with her because that's not true love or you should continue being with her because that is true love. No, I cannot say that right at this moment. Why? Because I'm not in, the, in that position. I'm not in that relationship. Only you can feel, only you can say if it's true love or not because only you can feel the love and not me. And in the first place, if you cannot send money to her, then you shall explain why you can't. And one more thing, it's not your responsibility to send money to her because you are her girl, boyfriend and you are in the relationship and you're not supporting her with that. You don't need to give her money all the time because as you said, she is working. She's working at the nightclub and what's wrong with that? So meaning to say she got money and why does she asks you money and get mad if you cannot send her any so no what advice i can give you is that you need to ask yourself if this love worthy enough to continue or not then if she'll get mad at you then that's not love at all maybe you're right she is with you because of your money not every single girl will be mad if, if the man will not send her money at all no will not get mad will understand and besides it's not your responsibility to, to send us money we got our own job do you understand so please ask yourself if you can feel the love in that relationship try to try to ask with her try to to tell her what you're feeling because only you can know that and only you two can solve the problem okay that's my advice now we're down to our lesson proper our lesson proper is lesson 59 yes lesson 59 and if the word is Paki ulit. Mm -hmm. Paki ulit. Can you repeat after me? The word is Paki ulit. Very good. Nice job. So, Paki ulit in Tagalog and in English, that means please repeat. Please repeat. So, if you didn't hear something from that person or you didn't get the information you can say paki ulit so that means please repeat again the word is paki ulit please repeat now let's get to know more about the word paki ulit in our example sentences so we have number one paki ulit nga 
paki ulit nga. Now I want you to tell the sentence by yourself. Yes, perfect. So let's say the sentences together. Paki ulit nga. Very good. And that means please repeat. Please repeat. It's the same thing with that paki ulit. We just add nga. Now for the second example, we have paki ulit sana. Paki ulit sana. Mm -hmm. Paki ulit sana. Now I want you to say the sentences with yourself alone. All right, very good. Now in English, that is basically means please repeat that. Please repeat that. All right. That is good. Now for our third example. So, paki ulit naman ng sinabi mo. Paki ulit naman ng sinabi mo. All right. Now I want you to do it by yourself. Very good. Sinabi mo. So in English that means please repeat what you said. Please repeat what you said. Very good. <laughs> and now we are down to the last part of our lesson which is the vocabulary. And our vocabulary for today is the word what is this? This is where you can see all the countries in the world. So this is globe. In Tagalog, this is globo. Globo. Again, globo. So, you can see all the countries here in the world. So, this is once again globo. Very good. This is globo, which means globe in English. So, we are done with our Tagalog lesson. So, I hope you guys enjoy and as well as learn. Learning is the most important thing. So, I'd like to say thank you so much for listening and I'll see you on my next video. Please like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.